Hi everybody and welcome to the very first embroidery tutorial from River Birch Threads. Um, today I'm going to teach you how to do a wagon wheel rose. Um, so I've started off using my water soluble um, marker here to draw out a circle. Uh, that's the size I want my rose to be. And I've just drawn five points like a star. So we're going to do it in pink because it's a nice rose color. So starting from the bottom you're just going to make those five points that you've drawn. Doesn't matter what order you do them in. You just want to get the five points to start with. Okay, so now that we have our star, you're going to come up from underneath the fabric somewhere close to the middle, doesn't matter where, and pull all the way through. And then from here on out, you're going to be working on top of the fabric. I find it easy to push the fabric from underneath with a finger to help raise it. So I'm going to go underneath every other. So starting with this one here and pull all the way through. And then I'm going to go under this one here and pull all the way through. If it gets caught like that sometimes, um, then you're going to go under this one here. And then the next one here. Being careful not to pull too, too tightly or else you'll end up scrunching up your th uh, thread. So I'm just going to keep doing this. Going under every other really pay attention to just pulling it not too tight but just enough it'll take a bit of practice if it's your first time to figure out the right amount of pressure and you can see as I'm going this row is starting to take shape If you're doing a rose this big, you most likely will need to get more floss as you probably won't have enough to finish a rose this size. That's okay. I'll show you how to do that in just a second. So as we're starting to get run out of thread here, I would recommend maybe one more and then going down. So at about this much floss, you want to go back down to give yourself enough room to tie it off. And you're going to snip that off and then you're going to re-thread your needle. I'm using three strands of floss, by the way, and I had this one ready. And then I'm going to come up close to where I went down and then just continue. So I had gone under that one, so I'm going to skip and go under this. And I don't have too, too much more to do. Just being careful that your floss follows the nice pattern of the rose there. As your rose starts to get bigger, you kind of have to guide the floss a bit with your fingers to keep it from folding over into the center. Kind of just tuck it where you want it to be. 
So we'll know that we're done when these five points of our original star are covered. Just a couple more. I prefer to do wagon wheel roses without a hoop because it's a little bit easier to handle and maneuver, but for the sake of showing you guys. So I think we're about done there. So I'm going to go down here like that and I'm going to snip it. So now we have a nice little rose. Um, and for the next video, I will show you guys how to put nice little leaves on it. Thanks for watching.